thank you guys so much for coming. Um, as you know, South by Southwest Interactive has been going on these last couple days, and today is the first day of the South by Southwest Music Festival. So to do something special, we invited a local musician to come and do a show for us, and we're also streaming it um, online so everybody else can watch at home or at work. So um, I'd like everybody to uh, put their hands together and give a warm welcome to Matt the Electrician. It's a little, a little rough in the monitor there. Check, check. Yep, the monitors seem to go up a little bit in volume. Like it's, a, it's a, quite a bit louder than it was before. Yes, please. Cool, thanks. Hey everybody, how you doing? Very cool. Alright, well we'll uh I'm gonna start uh I'm gonna start off with kind of a new song. And then it's gonna get a little bit darker. And then it's gonna get a little bit lighter. I like to kind of let you know emotionally where we're gonna go before we go there. Just so you don't feel uh manipulated at all. Miss 
guided misdirection of the heart And it took some time to navigate that maze And every morning is an exclamation There are stories that are forming every night And I know it's not to win or lose There is only reaching for the light It's a beacon, it's a bell I never have felt so well but wherever you are There's no way to tell you now Thank you very much. I appreciate that. For, uh, for all of uh, those of you here and for anybody else out there in the world, um, my name is Matt the Electrician. And I live here in Austin, Texas. And if you're here in Austin, Texas, don't go downtown. Um, <laughs> it's not worth it. You'll never get out. Just don't do it. Waste all of our time I am an accident 
accidental thief These are accidental crimes Thank you very much. Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if any of my friends over in Denmark are watching right now on the computer, but um, I think most of them are in Austin right now for South by Southwest. So maybe maybe they're watching from Austin. But uh, I've had the uh, I've had the good fortune the last couple of years to do a lot of touring in Denmark, and uh, they've just been. Super, super nice at, in general as a country and as a people. Um, they've been very nice to me. In fact, really, all of them. Every, every single person in Denmark is... Thumbs up. But I wrote this song uh, a couple of years ago over there. Uh, I co-wrote it with a woman named Ida Vinu Bach from Denmark. And uh, she and I were discussing her, um, her current... Uh, situation, uh, her current social and romantic situation, um, just because that's what we were talking about. And uh, she told me she had recently tried to break up with a boyfriend, but it wasn't, uh, it, it didn't take. And uh, I, I told her I didn't really understand that conceptually. And she said, well, he's also the lead guitar player in my band. And I said, oh, I, I understand that. Um, you should kick him out of your band. And she said, I tried to, but it, it didn't take. So we, uh, we were in a haunted castle at the time and wanted to write a song about ghosts and so we ended up uh, kind of coming up with, uh, with this one, it's called Ghost Story.
Thank you very much. I, uh, lately I've been, uh, it, it occurred to me a couple weeks ago at a show that for whatever reason, and I, I'm not saying this is true, but it occurred to me that I, I felt like I was being rude um, drinking water while facing the audience. And so I've started to turn around with my back to the audience to drink water. Um, and I played a show in Louisiana a couple days ago, and they told me that that was patently untrue, and it was totally fine to drink water in front of other people. So I feel like maybe I was raised wrong, or I, what do you guys think? Is, that, is it okay? To, cheers. cheers? Okay. okay. I don't know why it makes me feel naked. <clears throat> so, um, I have, uh, I have two, uh, two little kids uh, here in Austin. And, uh, and the other day, my son, who is seven, um, I picked him up from school. And he said, uh, Dad, I have to do a project for school, a little writing thing. And um, I know your name. I said, good. <laughs> and he said, and I know what you do for a living. And I said, good. And he said, so, when you have time off, what do you like to do? And I said, uh, well, I mean, I like, to, I like to play music. And he said, yeah, but that's what you do for a living. I said, I know. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm one of, I'm just, I'm lucky that way, I guess. I get to do what I, what I like to do on my time off. But he kept kind of pushing, like, surely there's something else you want to do with your time off. And I said... No, that's pretty much it. What I didn't tell him is that my favorite thing to do is watch Law and Order, because um, I don't think he's, he'd understand it yet. Um, I'm currently on season four. I'm watching them all um, on 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 uh, Netflix, and and I I never realized before that the Sam Waterston uh, character as the DA didn't show up until season four, um, and so that's pretty exciting. Um, I hope by the end of South by Southwest to make it all the way through season four and maybe into the beginning of season five because I want to find out where Lenny Briscoe, when he disappears from the show, the, the, the homicide detective. But um, anyway, that's, that's my plans for South by. We can discuss your plans for South by later. We'll go around the room. But when my son asked me that question, uh, it, it got me thinking about this song. This is a, uh, this is a Kevin Welch song. Kevin Welch lives uh, right here in uh, Wimberley, Texas, right near Austin. And he wrote this song a number of years ago, and I think it, uh, I think it deals with, with uh, music as a livelihood pretty, pretty well. This is what I do when I play This is what 
what I do when I'm certain And I do it when I can't quite say Thank you very much. Is everybody doing all right? Yeah. You got everybody, everybody's got a drink and, okay, good. Well, I'm very happy to be here. This is a uh, this is a fun way to kick off kick off the South by. And I just want to tell everybody to uh, make sure you drink enough water. Uh, try to take little ten minute naps. Um, that that always helps. And make sure you eat at least, at least three tacos a day. That's, that's really, really important. Um, you, can get, you can get dangerously low on your taco levels pretty fast, so. When I gotta go, that's when I wanna stay 
I'll come again and I'll bring you then. We'll go walking in Osaka in the Thank you very much. It's little step in the right direction. Couldn't see it from space. I'm right next to you. Whatever you decide to do I've got your back, we're on the same track In the universe, you're a molecule In my eyes, you're a great big deal Bigger than the moon You're the only tune I hear I've got your back, we're on the same track Then we're moving together And if we're standing still Then it's still forever I'm not a psychic I'm not a mind reader I don't know when a ship's gonna be here Oh, if it never comes in, I would do it all again. I've got your back, we're on the same track. And if a big wave washed it all away, the apocalypse and the judgment day, well, I would testify, looking God in the eye. Saying I got her back, we're on the same track And if we're moving, then we're moving together And if we're standing still, then it's still forever See it from space I'm right next to you Whatever you decide to do I've got your back We're on the same track And if we're moving Then we're moving together And if we're standing still Then it's still Forever Thank you very much. If you guys knew, um, but this is the year of this is the year of the four string banjo at South by Southwest. If you go out, you're going to see everywhere. You're going to see four string banjos, and you're going to see a lot of four string guitars too. Um, I'm I'm on the cutting edge of 
what is kind of hip and what is going to be a buzz at South by. So I bought this a couple years ago knowing that this was going to be the year. However, it's held together by cardboard and duct tape on the back end, so I'm going to hold it very, very still. Otherwise, really bad things will happen. So. Cardboard. This is uh, this is a banjo ukulele. And it is not going to be the hip instrument at South by Southwest this year. Uh, maybe next year. Maybe. I've been, I've been waiting for like 11 years for this to be the next hip instrument, and it doesn't seem to be panning out that way. So.
Well, I'm going to play a, uh, a song that I wrote for my daughter when she was very, very little. And she's 11 years old now. And, uh, but I wrote this for her when she was about six months old. And we had gotten out of the, the heat of Austin to go somewhere where it was not so hot. And I'm just, just so you know, uh, you've maybe already figured it out, but I'm going to whistle on like all the rest of the songs. That's, it's just, it, it's all I got. Thank you very much. So I figure since, since there's people uh, watching out there somewhere, I'm going to try an experiment. Um, I, I'm unsure, I'm often unsure um, whether or not I should get my hair cut at any given time, point in time. And I'm feeling, there's a feeling deep down inside that now's the time. Um, but if you're watching out there, um, it, would you please, would you please give me a little advice, write to me on Facebook, um, and, and, and tell me, uh, whether or not I, I should cut my hair at this point. Cause I, I don't really know. I've lost all, um, objectivity about it. And I, I don't know, I don't know about how you guys feel here in the room, but, uh, these are, these, these are very important things to me. It's, it, I, I stay awake at night thinking about it. I, I, y you're just, you're letting it go. You're letting it go. Yeah. That's great. It's very cool. I read a study recently that said that if you, if you don't cut your hair, you're smarter. 
Yeah, in the long run, it makes you smarter. That's what I heard. So, right on. Well, I'm going to play another song for one of my kids. This one I wrote for my son. And this has a real hard one-drop feel. Kind of a, kind of a just a dub, reggae. So if you, guys, if you guys could just take that. It's on the three. It's kind of a big bass drum sound. That would be great. Okay, cool. guys so much for having me. Uh, I really appreciate it. My name is Matt the Electrician. I'm going to play, uh, play one more song for you and uh, thank you to anyone out there in, uh, in uh, internet land who's watching as well. Oh, I wasn't. No. I'm sorry. That's Milo? Oh my goodness. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll do that. All right, we got a we got a request from the front row. So I'm going to 
I'm going to just retune this here real quick and do this song. This one's called Milo. <laughs> I haven't done this one in a little while. I, I don't know if I'm going to remember any of it, but I'll do it. And I hope you all have a, a great South by Southwest if you're here in Austin. Uh, go out and see as much music as you can and, and uh, drink all of the coffee that you can and, and eat all of, the, all of the tacos that you can. And I think, I think you'll, you'll be fine. Although do be careful out there, it's supposed to snow tomorrow, so um, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a little icy on the roads. Just like birds on the wind And his hair was the coolest hair And every day it was four or five Days and days And days and days and days and days The hours fell like the rocks They used to build the pyramids Milo was your best friend Second cousin, all roads lead to He's the rising sun Milo is a long, long way from home yet Milo is a name you won't forget Milo I haven't met yet In a cave below the ground Way down it's cold and it's dark But it knows his way around And the mazes of the underground Are no match for him But it looks just like a traveler Who hasn't showered in a while Been living in the ground Milo is your best friend He's your second cousin All roads lead to He's the rising sun Milo is a long, long way from home yet Milo is a name you won't forget Milo I haven't met yet That's my one and only guitar solo. Thank you very much. It's taken me nine years to learn that guitar solo. I'm so glad you're here, Milo. This is working out perfectly for this song. And you know, in this song, Milo was kind of a fictional character. It was a, it was a made up, a made up little boy that was supposed to be born and then and then it turned out it was a little girl because we thought we were gonna have a little boy because people kept telling us over and over you're gonna have a little boy so you start to believe him and then we had a little girl and we came up with a completely different name for her and so Milo just didn't end up being the name but here you are and you do have the coolest hair so this is this is pretty wacky he's a bigger than life superhero He's the captain of the team He's a quantum physicist He's a molecular biologist He's not in it for the ladies He's a nice guy 
and he speaks well and I would do well to be more like him Milo is your best friend he's your second cousin all roads lead to he's the rising sun Milo is a long long way from home yet Milo is a name you won't forget Milo I haven't meant yet Thank you guys very much. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you for having me here at Life Size. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Milo, for coming out. And thank you, everybody out there in Internet land.